How's it going everybody? My name is Sai, and today we're checking out the new Architects album, For Those That Wish To Exist. Now, those of you who've been around my channel for a while will know that I did a reaction to Animals, and I gave it kind of a lukewarm reception. I will say that since then it has warmed on me a bit, but I've since then kind of adopted this stance where I'm going to like avoid most of the, like, the pre-release singles that uh, come before an album. And so I've actually done that here. I've, I've only listened to a couple of them in passing, not really paid attention that much to them. Um, I've seen that they've gotten some rather mixed receptions. Some people are absolutely loving it, saying it's the best shit they've ever put the pen. Others are saying that uh, it's too soft for them. Who knows? I have no idea. We're going to find out today uh, how the whole album stacks up. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get on started with the first song, Do You Dream of Armageddon? Okay. Getting that pretty synthy stuff. Oh. Big majestic horn there. Okay. Oh, almost had shuffle on. Keep doing that, man. Get some catch on myself now. Oh, did they really do that over the transition? Thanks, guys. Yeah, this is one of those singles, too. I've heard it like once or twice, but I really haven't sat down and dissected it, so. Let's give that a try. Okay. So when the soft elements come in, they mix actually quite well with this kind of more rough element here. Hmm. I'm not sure about the opening clean vocal, but the rest have been really good. Just like the first line of this chorus I'm not too sure about. The rest is pretty great. Some good stuff. Loving the string elements, man. I mean, they used a lot of them in Holy Hell, I know, but really coming out here. Like it. Gives everything an epic feeling even if it's not like balls to the wall screaming or anything. What are, what are you guys doing? It's a hype. It's a hype. What are you doing? So, I gotta point out right now, people are comparing this to That's the Spirit. They're saying this is the That's the Spirit or AMO for Architects. I already very strongly disagree with you. God, they really have to do the saw right over the transitions. Killing me. Anyhow. New song, by the way. Uh, I already disagree with you because... But that's the spirit, it was like a total conversion over it. I feel like this is, any, if anything, is more like separate turnal, because it has elements of old architects in there. You got the good guitar groove still. It ain't like super technical or anything. It isn't like super hard thrashy screaming, but it's still got heavier grooves than anything on that's the spirit. Anything on Amo for sure. It's got essence of heaviness in there. And we're only on song two, so shut, or three, shut the fuck up. Got a nice driving forward melody on this one. I'm liking the momentum. Very quiet and serene here. Sign 
Got another build here. We're gonna build that third core, so we're gonna build something new. That's the question. Yeah, I will say I ragged on a little bit on Black Lungs, but if they're using it a bit more, I do kind of like the vocal diversity here. The more smoother singing, the more raspy fry singing. It's mixing in pretty well. Okay. This is definitely something different. Oh, here we go. Classic drop out to nothing but vocals and then jump back in the chorus. Good stuff. Definitely not, like song of the year all year, but it's good stuff. It's not bad. Okie dokie. Discourse is dead. Kind of muffled the guitar element there. Liking it. I will say, every time the full instrumental section comes in with the strings and the guitars and the drums mixed in, it hits you like a fucking truck. Like it. It's got very strong momentum to it. Powerful. Oh yeah, that's what the doctor ordered. Oh yeah, and he still flex with the guitar too, with the... Let's see if it does it again. Okay, no, earlier you had a little technical lick for a second. It was really cool. And I think his raspy vocals work really, really well as a chorus for a heavier song like this, too. Very tense bridge. Not sure about the moment of quietness in there, but... Momentum's still there. It didn't fully take it out. That drum roll. Ooh. Ooh. We like it. All right. Maybe not a breakdown, but a break even. I'll take it. Oh, is it different? Different kind of bridge slash breakdown there. I liked it a lot with the strings and that kind of dreamy singing. And now we get our jaunty return to the end here. Oh yeah. Looks like we've got a little bit of everything on here so far. I'm alright with it. Got some diversity on the record. Five songs in, not even close to the board yet. But that's pretty good. We like that. Love to see it. I wanna bother God. Fuck. That hits. It's good for you right there. Nice build there, with the raspy vocals returning. Yeah. The strings are such good choices in these songs. It really just is an easy road to power, honestly. Everything feels huge and important, and it's wonderful. It's an interesting processing on his voice there. A little digitized. Ah, that was beautiful, actually. 
really, really powerful. It's just everything feels weighty, even if it's not necessarily heavy. It feels like it has a lot of weight to it, a lot of emotion behind it. Definitely doesn't feel like throwaway softness, you know what I mean? Which, if you're going to go softer, that's a great way to go. What do we got next? Here's some crazy electronics. What do we got? Those electronics, let's go. Again with the drums. The tom work on the drums is really, really cool in this album so far. They're using it a lot and it's creating very diverse sounds. That lead. Ooh, that high. Mm. Mm. That's a good chorus right there. That's a good fucking chorus right there. Like industrial base, okay. That, that's a fucking uh, octave jumping synth there where it goes wee wee. That is really chaotic. Makes the sound a lot darker. Very interesting ideas, like those clean vocals there. While maybe not my favorite thing in the world, give them credit. Interesting, different. They're definitely not sitting on their ass for this one, and I like that. You get worried, people are like, oh man, they soften up, man, they're generic. This is anything but generic, dude. This ain't generic at all. They're definitely experimenting and fucking with a lot of the stuff they're doing. You just gotta sit there and listen, you know? Rather than just waiting for a bleh. Which, mind you, it's okay if you don't like it. Just know why you don't like it. You know what I mean? good stuff okay Winston McCall's on this the people say what they want about New Parkway Drive he still fucking belts even on New Parkway so let's get some belting let's go almost trappy bit here with the hats okay I tried in true drum pattern, but it's effective every time I hear it. Feels like we're ascending, you know? And the drop. I got the song structure thing figured out, boys! I'm just kidding. That's, that was cringe. Cut that shit. Oh! Okay. Oh, here he is. Come on. Go off, buddy. Let's go. Ah, I misjudged the timing on that so hard, but... Mm. It took me right out of that breakdown. They didn't even let me fucking breathe. They just said... Well, we have a lot of album to go. We've just hit the halfway mark, just about, but... Gotta say, I'm not bored. I'm wild. very, very impressed so far. It's a bit all over the place, but I'm liking that. It's keeping it varied and mixed up a bit. It seems like... It seems like every super heavy song, or heavy-ish song comes with its own soft song right afterwards almost just kind of chill everything out and just be like hey look what we can do we got some range got those electronic elements but they got a very much rock mix on it it's got a bit of that echo a bit of that sharp sound that would make you almost think it's raw you know very sharp very trebly
So it's interesting, but I don't think this has the same power as Dead Butterflies. I think this one is a little bit of a, a soft meh so far on a, on a fairly good album so far. Got some motion here. Got the electronic elements back, but it's like a driving beat. Like like a driving beat. Oh, that's good. All those different sounds are awesome. Dark bass elements. Electronically, this is the most interesting song so far. This is definitely stand out. I'm liking it a lot. I feel stupid though. I don't know who Mike Carr is. Somebody will have to tell me down below. Bring in some guitars to bring it all together. And a juicy riff at that. Very good. It's Oh yeah. Big fucking standout. Big fucking Oh yeah. And here's animals. We know animals. We actually like animals a lot more than we did when we first reviewed it. A rip is so infectious, dude. This is infectious, dude. It just sinks into your bones, dude. I mean, if you're like a diehard Architects fan and you have to have the screams, it's not the best song they've ever made, but on its own, just take it for face value as music. That's a good fucking chorus right there. And that's a good fucking riff. There's some interesting electronic elements. They're not just some boring shit. Solid. Ooh. Some sirens. I didn't notice that last time. Interesting. I can't even keep time with it. It throws me off, but it's good shit. Some good stuff, man. Sure, it's a little bit softer, sure. It borrows a couple tendencies from Bring Me the Horizon, pretending like they haven't been doing that their entire careers. Um, both of them, both bands have been borrowing from each other. Uh, but, hold on, I gotta ride this out, what is this? That hits you good. Anyhow, what was I saying? I don't even care. Whatever. Animals is good. Move on. A little slowed down. Not, not the best, of course, but still. Made up for it with that verse. definitely turned like a huge left turn from the beginning of the song um which brought it down a little bit but it's still it's still pretty good they started off with just such a bang though it's kind of almost a shame it fizzled out a little bit here but it is you can't win all of them you got another big moment like a dead butterflies moment let's go Those grungy electronics, man. That was the good stuff. I knew we were in for some good stuff when that came in. I'm still gonna call that a standout because just the energy of the first half of that song was just... And even if it fizzled a little bit towards the end, it was still pretty good. But the energy was unmatched at the beginning, so... I don't know who Simon Neal is either. Ooh! 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 Uh, energy again, let's go! Let's go! Fuck yeah! 
singing, but still has energy. It was a tenth electronics stepping in for orchestral elements on this one. Fulfilling the same purpose though, getting that intensity and then riff, man. Delicious fucking riff. Interesting these last these last two songs have been combining some of the heavier elements in the album with some of the more saccharine stuff at the same time. It's making an interesting effect. Not one that I don't always like, but sometimes I can get it behind it. It's like hit or miss. That must be Simon Neal, because that doesn't sound like the other guy at all. Sam Carter, doesn't sound like him. I want to know what project you're from. That's fucking feral as hell. That's gnarly. It's interesting when he kind of goes out of his usual range. He starts doing things like, nah, a little bit. That's, uh, I was probably flat. Sorry, but I had fun. So I'm not going to listen to myself. Um, interesting, uh dynamics of this voice that you don't usually hear so when you do hear it it stands out we're still liking it so far despite like some of my little criticisms here and there it's still overall thumbs up Ooh. well i don't know if that's uplifting or ominous there's some interesting chord structure stuff there and i don't even know where to place that So out of the softer electronics driven songs, this is probably up there the top ones for this album. Definitely liking the different experimental electronics here. The tone of that bass tone, bass tone, tone, bass tone. Everything is taking a very wall of sound approach. Kind of like holy hell. Like everything is made to fill your ear completely. There's not like isolated mixes here or there. Everything is just wham, very Devin Townsend. That's weird. Kind of like it. He's playing his vocals through like keys a little bit. So he's like modulating it on the fly and it's making kind of this weird, almost bubbly, croaky sound here. Very sorrowful lyrics so far. A lot of that similar poetry does remind me of. I'm gonna keep drawing parallels because unfortunately it's ingrained in my head now. Uh, Ollie Sykes' lyricism a bit, you know. Glass half empty is more than I'll ever have. I can't draw my demons, they know how to swim. Um, lots of poetic use of uh, very popular idioms and sayings. See, okay, I may not have listened to this more than like once in the background but i do know a little bit about this song i know this is the song that everybody was like uh oh is this album not gonna be great over this song so let's let's see what the big deal is shall we ooh, ooh. icky okay this is fine this is not much different from any other chorus on this album but i feel like i've already identified why people didn't like this First off, the this right there. The re repeating lyrics there, extraordinarily poppy tendency. Uh, I wouldn't say it's inherently bad, but it is definitely one of the more. If I was going to say anything on this album was generic, I would say these vocal patterns are the most generic thing that I've heard so far. Which is good considering second to last song, and this is the first time this problem is really cropping up. So. It's a perfectly serviceable song, though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, per se. It's just not totally amazing or even really up to the snuff with the rest of this album. 
so far. We'll talk about more later, obviously. I see you trying to get cheeky and end it off on a hard note there. Alright, let's see what this last song is. Definitely the worst song on the album so far. But, um... As you're gonna find out, it's not necessarily a bad thing, because... This album is actually quite... Quite good, actually. Ooh, a little bit of that violin. A little bit of a more elaborate violin here. A little... Dee -dee -dee -dee. What is this song title? Dying is absolutely safe. I feel like, uh, scientific experts would disagree, but... Very soft, serene, beautiful. Um, kind of wish Meteor didn't exist because this would have been a very nice spot to end if there's a little bit more momentum coming up to this. Those soft strings and those soft keys. Very relaxing song. Somber as it clearly is, but... Very sad, but oh, it does make you feel a little good, despite it. It's weird. Got some almost choiry vocals here. Some very messy, uh, messy stuff there. Dissonance, they really fucking distorted the hell out of everything and ended this off on a little bit of a chaotic, unsure note. Okie dokie, let's see if I can get the hardest part of this video out while this is going on. So that was Architects for those that wish to exist. And my hair is fucking kersploded, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna try our best. Now, it's perfectly okay not to like this album. I can see why you wouldn't like this album. Let me let me think of reasons why you might not like this album. Why this album might not be for you. Um, not heavy. This this album has heavy moments, but overall it is not a heavy album um, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, too many more pop slash electronic related elements. If you're really opposed to those, there's there's quite a few in here. I can understand why you don't like it. Um, Here's some words that I see tossed around to describe this album that I don't necessarily agree with. And if this is a reason why you're staying away from it, that you're afraid that the album's gonna be this, I implore you, don't. Um, that is in case you haven't gleaned enough from my little clippets here, uh, and you skip straight to the review. That, obviously, not generic. I, I've he I heard generic tossed around when Animals came out. I kind of disagreed then. I really disagree now. It's not a generic album, though, in my opinion. Um, I know my opinion is not final, but just kind of try to look at this from outside in, not just from like a metal, it's not heavy enough aspect, and more of a how many weird things do you not hear on literally every other track on the radio? And there was a lot. There's a lot of different structure changes, a lot of different experimentations. It This is definitely a ballsy record, right? This is not just experimenting or turning into pop and calling it experimentation. This is definitely like full on experimenting. They've got some stuff in here that you might not have even heard before anywhere. And that is, uh, that's definitely to be praised. Um, I also hear people would compare it a lot to that's the spirit in Amo for Bring Me the Horizon. Even people who like it, even people who are like, I love Amo and I love this album. So they're great. I kind of disagree there too, honestly. I feel like if you're half, you absolutely have to compare it to a Bring Me the Horizon album. I would compare it to the most recent one, Post Human. Why, you might ask? Because really, take a step back. Everybody got excited because one or two songs on Post Human were extremely heavy. But if you take a step back and like view like overall percentage of like the whole project, there was a pretty even keel of there was some heavy stuff, but there was also a lot of the more popular electronic experimental elements that they are known for. I feel like that's what we got with Architects. There was a pretty nice 50-50 split. We had a shitload of screaming, a shitload of heavier elements, um, some really devastating riffs, and many points, even on the softer songs, 
and then we had a lot of crazy electronic stuff mixed in. So I don't think this is like the full drop left turd, completely different. There is still a lot of familiar architects work in here. It is just not as overt and on every single song, just all the way through, if that makes sense. Um, so that was a pleasant surprise, honestly. It's the same reason why I like post human is I think combining the experimentation with more classical elements that your band is known for is absolutely the way to go. Um, if you want to do a full shift, more power to you, but it always sounds really great when you kind of dip your feet in and really learn how to mingle the two elements and get a sound that everybody can love. Which brings me to the worst songs in this album. Um, there's a few songs. Uh, Meteor definitely comes to mind. I, I concur with everybody saying that was easily... If any song was playing it safe and not really doing much for the album, it was Meteor. Um, Giving Blood also didn't do a whole lot for me. Flight Without Feathers out of the softer songs was my least favorite. Um, those, those songs probably could have chucked them out of the album. This is an hour-long album. Um, it does kind of tend to slow down because of those songs, and I feel like if you would have pulled them out, it would have absolutely become a much more cleaner, fuller, more complete experience, um, and a little bit more streamlined, a little bit easier to get through. Now, that being said, for an hour long, that actually went by pretty quickly. The pacing was pretty cool. Um, there isn't a whole lot of concrete structure. There's a lot of back and forth, I felt like. You get a really heavy song, then you get a really soft song, then you get a really heavy song, then you get a really soft song. Then you have a couple middling songs, and then you, you get back into that back and forth. Um, there's a couple tracks, Libertine and Goliath, they traded off the heavy and soft within themselves to mixed effects. Um, I think Libertine definitely worked a little bit better for me because even though oh sorry not libertine sorry goliath worked a little bit better for me because even though it did the same balancing it did it a little bit more intermittently where i felt like libertine blew all of its gas in the first half and chilled out at the end um so there's just examples that we can say that about a lot on this album there's a lot to love and a lot maybe you don't love or if you're a fan of both elements this could be amazing for you because you get both worlds really well mixed in here. I felt like some of the mixes were a bit jarring. However, overall, I'm just a huge fan of the album. This is a really, really good album. Um, there's a lot of these songs that I'd go back to and listen to on my own time. These, this is really, really catchy. The choruses are, for the most part, on point. Um, the riffs, again, for the most part, on point. Um, and that really comes down to the album is for the most part on point there's just a couple songs that i would chuck out or a couple songs that had a couple passages that i was not totally cool or not cool with totally a huge fucking stellar fan of and uh yeah overall pretty decent actually i'd say very very good album um but keep in mind this is also coming from not super biased i've not been a fan of architects my whole life I only really jumped on the ship with Holy Hell, and even then I didn't listen to that whole album. I just, I listened to a few songs off of it. I really liked what I heard, but I never got a chance to dig in. Um, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts on For Those That Wish To Exist. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, pleasantly surprised with how well mixed everything was, how diverse everything was, how many unique experimental elements came out and made this album special. That's a great shit right there. Uh, so yeah, if you guys like this album, obviously, go buy it. Support Architects. We are still dealing with COVID fallout. Every band absolutely needs help. So there's no excuse why if any time you thought about pulling the trigger on some merch or record, now wouldn't be it. If you like my content, all I ask for you to do is to like and subscribe. All that good stuff helps the algorithm out, gets me seen, all that good shit. Um, if you want to keep updated or join in with my community and have more music debates like the one I just started here, you can join my Discord down below. Oh, as well as attend my Twitch streams, which are every Friday, 3.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Um, you can bring in songs there. We react to songs there. You'll see the highlights sprinkled throughout the week leading up to this. And Bixby, go away. Um, and yeah, that's about, uh, that's about it. Bixby threw me off my fucking game, so I'm just going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care. Peace.